I love radiologists. In fact, my best friend from medical school, as well as my youngest brother, uh, are both radiologists and they're very good at what they do. But the fact is that radiologists sometimes miss things on scans, especially on CT scans. And this is particularly true when it comes to adrenal tumors and particularly when it comes to small aldosterone producing adrenocortical adenomas. These are small tumors that overproduce too much aldosterone, which is very toxic and give rise to something called primary hyperaldosteronism or CON syndrome. So why do these tumors get missed on a CT scan? Well, radiologists look at hundreds of CT scans in a single day. And when they look through a CT scan, there's a many, many organs they have to go through the stomach, the liver, the kidneys, the spleen, the bowel and so forth. And the adrenal glands are quite small. And unless you sp spend significant time and attention to the adrenal glands, small tumors can be missed. So aldosterone producing tumors are often small. They're about a centimeter, so about the size of a pea or a small grape, so about uh, half of an inch. But these tumors can be very toxic. So I want to introduce to you a patient of mine that I just operated on last week. She came to me from the mountain west She's in her mid fifties and had had high blood pressure for decades. Finally, a smart doctor worked her up for primary hyperaldosteronism. And she had what we call a slam dunk aldo, meaning her aldosterone level was very high. Her renin level was completely suppressed, meaning almost undetectable. She had had problems with low potassium. One of her potassium levels had been as low as 2.4, which is exceedingly rare. She had required hospitalization. And she uh, required being on four blood pressure medications, including spironolactone, even though she wasn't overweight or had diabetes or any other risk factors. She was quite a healthy lady, but she just had a very toxic tumor overproducing too much aldosterone. And she had a CT scan, the initial CT scan, and that was read by the radiologist as completely normal adrenal glands. But as you will see shortly on the, on the, uh, here in the video, she had a typical 1.3 centimeter or 13 millimeter left adrenal adenoma. And through an operation that took about 18, 19 minutes, she was cured. And as you can see from the pathology, she had a typical aldosterone producing adenoma. So in summary, it's very important that your CT scan is scrutinized by somebody who knows that you have an a, adrenal problem and that they need to specifically look at your adrenal glands. This is the CT scan showing a 16 millimeter aldosterone producing adrenocortical adenoma on the left side, causing primary hyperaldosteronism. The right adrenal gland is completely normal. You can see this thing here, which is hypodense, which is a typical cyst of the kidney. Uh, those can be left alone. But this is a tumor that's overproducing too much aldosterone.